Anybody out there? Barrett! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody goes. hear me? And push! <sighs> It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? Right, with that somber opening welcome back everybody I'm gonna uh, go through the things that I usually go through here just really quick and then we'll just play through um, this this is a I think it's a shorter chapter I'm not sure um, I might not be thinking of everything that's in it uh, right away but um, so in the original it was about 10 to 15 minutes this part um, and the only enemies were the same ones that would normally be in Sector 6 that we would go through between the playground and Sector 5. Um, so, yeah, so that, that includes Hole Eater, Vice, and Hell House. Um, in this chapter here, we have just, like, you know, the same, um, like, Bloodhound, which is Blood Taste in the original, Mono Drive, um... Mark II Mono Drive, I think. Uh, Cutter, comparable to the Sweeper. Bugaboo, uh, which is a new character. Vargid Polis, which is like Vargid Polis in the original. And then, then we have the Unknown Entity and Failed Experiment. That it's just like a whole new thing that they added. 
Um, I, I'm not sure how many exactly how many enemies um, are in this chapter because uh, so I think um, that's as much as I um, I don't know if I don't remember if I looked it up or if I just um, if I just tried to remember what they were but we'll come across them whatever it's fine um, so I listed everything that was uh, listed in the enemy intel that was that said it was in this area. So um, I'll continue this same way through sectors five, uh, sectors five, six, and seven in the sewers. Um, anything you know? Anytime we come across enemies we've already fought, I'm not. I might not point those out. Maybe I'll just point out the new ones that we, we come across. Um, so. Um, so yeah, and the, the new enemies, the failed experiment, and um, and the other one, the unknown entity, the, they kind of look messy. They they look kind of weird and out of place. Like they don't look like normal Final Fantasy VII enemies. How could this happen? This wasn't an accident. And I'm wondering if they're going to have all this kind of aftermath um, after the stuff that happens in Junin. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. <coughs> Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. It's nothing. Let's go. Well, that was a quick 180. It's like there's a hole in the sky. Wait. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. You guys run into Jesse at the villa. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in pretty bad shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. Alright. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. 
Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. I thought Barrett was a lot taller than Cloud, but it looks like he's... Uh, yeah, I guess he is considerably bigger, but the dimensions seemed a little off. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her, too. Come on. Let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. 
So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <sighs> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. One thing I want to really note, like, while I'm looking at it, is that on the sword, 
two of those materia are connected, and that's the same uh, two that are connected that you know you can link materia Main together. To sector seven is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Do a nice touch. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us stuff. Didn't mean anything, by I was gonna go back and get the other treasure chest that was upstairs, but I'm, I've done everything in this game, so why, why bother going to try to get something again? Over there. Our only shot. So this is where it splits up a little bit to make things a little interesting. That's nice. I wouldn't like to just have some mundane traveling back and forth like they do a lot in earlier Final Fantasy games. Actually, they do that in a lot of our role-playing games. It's interesting how there are like trains and things down here, oh, but I think there's something in here. Oh, it's the treasure chest. I wonder how many of these things I have. Nothing to it. You just kill those guys. You're good at this. I mean, how about thanks? Yeah, that ladder's missing in here. Oh, I can't go back down there. Over there. Huh? That way out. Tifa. Still in one piece. Just like everyone else. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. I'm just glad you survived. Marlene. Gives me hope for the others. Marl. Hmm. Betty. Chadley. This is bad. <sighs> A lot of collateral damage. This is bad. <sighs> Why would they put that underground passage under a kid's playground thing? Well, it's Midgar, so why am I asking questions like that? See what's on the other side. Finally, I can use some friend. Again. That one was a lot closer. Hello. 
Is there anyone out there that needs some help? I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, Anybody say something! We're here to help! They must have either been right on the, uh, on the outer edge of the sector or... I mean, this, all of that concrete and everything, and houses and everything, like, there wouldn't even be this much. It would Anyone just be there? piled up, just rubble and garbage and everything. Just, like, not garbage, but debris would be piled up really high. You'd be basically walking on stories of, of rubble. So the fact that they even see the seventh heaven sign is is a miracle. Mackerel. Wedges cat. What? Let's follow it. I mean, it makes sense that cats would be alive. Those things, they don't Ready? die. They're like One, roaches. Two, three. Just please. At this point, I was like, don't worry, Wedge could still die, even though he's not dead now. And I kind of had a feeling, I'm like, as soon as he didn't die immediately from falling off the plate, I'm like, well, maybe they didn't really specify that they actually died in the original. But, I don't know. Tifa! Cloud! Shout if you can hear me! Hey! If there's no path, you gotta make one. The developers just wanted to... Uh, 
put us back to square one and kind of treat it like, you know, anything can happen. You're a bugaboos. This is the most satisfying thing in this game. Too bad they didn't have more of this type of thing in the Yuffie DLC. How long it take them to build all this beneath our feet? He's got unlimited ammo on that thing. Which I don't mind. I know it's fantasy, but Man, I like it. You'd think they dug halfway to death. The only thing that I would change about the auto aim is maybe like give them a possibility of, of actually aiming. Like, you can auto aim if you Keep want, up. but. Hey! Keep up! You okay? I got you! Really seems like they did. They went all out. Every character, every playable character, um, is has a full range of motion and has full playable capability. It's just they don't, you know, they only I feel like they're only used for like a couple chapters, or one, maybe one chapter. Like this is the only time you get to play as Barret in this chapter. But I think they should give you the option to. Switch back and forth depending on. Well, maybe not depending on anything. Just like when you do the the the, the next game, whatever the game yeah. plus or whatever. New game plus, I think they call it. It's like a generic term for uh, starting over with your current stats. If I gotta climb another damn ladder. Let me hear you. 
Is holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his death. You should treat him with a nice meal if he gets one. Good for a shower. Hmm. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Alright, we're back where we are. Wedge. Or where we were. Back where we are. Saving Wedge. He's okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, he's dead. Check the original game. <laughs> Making me worry like that. I kicked your ass if you didn't look like shit. Uh, Tifa, the cat's not God. Not sure. He said, thank God, and she told the cat, thank you. She must be Egyptian. Yep, it's you, all right. <laughs> the smell. Oh, the weight. What is this? And the smell. They look all right. They just look like they're from a different game. Ah, technically they are, right?
There's the big mamma jamma. Interesting they have like one um like one weird appendage looking thing. And it makes it looks like a wing. It has one weird eye in the middle, it looks like. There's Cloud. Welcome back, Cloud. About time, Merc. You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? Maybe if they made like an overworld you could explore yeah. and you can, there's like a, kind of a, a, a wide space between one place and the other. And then they have scenes that are just as long as in this, then it would feel more open world or more like the, not like the original, but more like an updated version. So this is definitely a, a totally new, totally different uh, chapter, except for the part at the beginning where Elmira gives them the her history. Uh. 
We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Mm. <sighs> Brace his head, dude. What if he's got a broken neck? I'm still controlling Barrett. Okay. I forgot about that. I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm going to look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They have returned to the planet. supposed to return to us <sighs> but if we stop now they'll never let us live it down So yeah, that was it for chapter 13 uh, for the remake. But now, um, in the original, we are up to getting the huge materia. And I guess uh, Barrett says that we need to go to North Corral first. Um, but I am going to go to... I'm going to go to Fort Condor. Just to get that out of the way. And then I believe we're going to, once we're done with those two things, it's going to be, um, we're going to go back to see Cloud. Oh, and by the way, I did go back and get a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I played through um, to get as much as I could of any missable items. So um, that should be taken care of. I think you can do this part now or when Cloud comes back. But we'll just have to see. And I already talked to that guy before. I think I just have to go up and fight. We'll see. The situation has changed. Looks like the enemy is set to attack. If we lose here, it's over. Our lives are in your hands. We're counting on you. Okay, we're ready. This is the deciding battle. The en enemy numbers more than ever before. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, what I've been doing, the attacker moves the fastest. So I'm just gonna set him up and start with that. And then he's gonna go all the way down and attack. And then I'm going to speed it up. Because then I can place whoever I want once he gets down to that enemy. And the attacker happens to be strong against the beast. Do not get a defender. Him attack. Yeah. 
make him attack the, um... Oops, I didn't mean to... That's okay, he can attack anyway. And we'll do another defender. He can attack this guy. Okay, so I halted the enemy attack. Yes, we did it. That was wonderful. Thank you. I doubt the Shinra will attack now. <laughs> Blows up the condor. Which I don't really understand. It's not a phoenix, but it's okay. The that light just now, the condor, the egg. What? Would you go outside and see what it what it was? No problem, Gramps. We got a phoenix materia, and then the bird, little chick, right out of the egg, flies away. Which is not how birds work, but. Maybe in fantasy. Okay, so that was... Wait a minute, do I have to go to the... I think I have to talk to the other... The elder person. Everyone thanks. I really mean it, thanks. Although there isn't anything we can give you, we'll make sure you can stop in and stay at it any time, so be sure to drop by. Yes, yes, and there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Received a huge materia. Huh? What's this? Man, man, that's huge materia. The truth is, this is the materia inside the reactor. What the hell did we fight for? We weren't protecting the reactor, we were protecting the condor. Well, that's what the old guy says. When that reactor was built, they forced us to help. That's how we knew what was inside the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after the Shinra left, I sneaked in and took the materia. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how it ended up. I'm really sorry. Just forget about it. Anyway, we're still alive. I see. If you put it that way, we're really grateful. Alright, now we're going to North Corral. So last time we escaped from Junin, we've been through a lot. We lost Yuffie, or we lost Aerith. Yuffie stole our materia. Kaesith turned out to be a spy. Cloud went missing and turned up as a vegetable in Medeal. And Tifa is staying by his side. So this is the perfect time to turn things around and get some, um, some huge materia. There's an ultimate weapon flying around here somewhere, but... I'm not going to go after it just yet. Um, i got to reorient myself. Oh, it's on the other continent. Ah. Um, so this episode on, I figured I'd stop mentioning all the enemies in the area, except for bosses and notable extreme enemies, uh, like you find in the crashed Kelnika. So... And uh, I'm changing tactics here, mostly because enemies are just palette swaps, um, or just different versions of, stronger versions of enemies 
we already saw. Um, I'll take note of exceptions we run into, but for the most part, I skip a lot of those that are just stronger versions of previous enemies. Um, the last few chapters have been crazy long and a bit out of, out of control, but consider those uh, part of mid-season finale, if you will. Um, now that we're on our way, this sh chapter should be a bit shorter. There's some guards here. You guys are... Gonna fight. We're gonna fight, that's what we are. I guess we're safe for now. Oh. Damn. We go, we're gonna chase that train. Looks like they're taking off with a huge material in that train. No, you damn boneheads. Did the Shinra beat us? Hey, do you know who I am? I'm Sid, that's who the hell I am. Now let, just let me handle it. Oh yeah, so they're chasing them with the smaller... Hey, 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 hey! A smaller little train here, a little Thomas the Tank Engine action. Thomas the Tank action. How could they even drive this? Don't ask me, I don't know. What? Don't worry, I can handle this. Two levers, one on the right, one on the left. <laughs> I see, just alternate the two levers up and down, right? Judging from the enemy's speed, I'd say it'd about, take about ten minutes. We're gonna fly, hold on tight. So, here we are. Alright, we're gonna jump. And we have a little mini boss rush here gas ductor and let's see this little white wind here let's see some high high powered magic stuff. Oh, that did it. Cool. I'm gonna be running out of magic. So I got some more enemy skills too. So we should be good to go. care of that. I think I got two more to fight. This might immediately give him the next limit break here. Finally, he's a big guy. Okay, so this is a this is a really cool boss. Uh, I'm use trine, eagle gun. Its name, I guess. It causes two thousand points of damage, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. Oh yeah, and I got Cosmo Memory from Red Thirteen. It's his. 
his uh, ultimate limit break, or final limit, I guess they call it. And Barrett's got Satellite Beam and Anger Max, which I'm going to use on the next one. Okay, Restore is leveled up. That's pretty cool. And I have a little over two minutes, which should, should be just enough time to do what I need to do. What the? You you guys. All right, hand over the huge materia. Shh. Whoa. I'm going to fight this guy. Just a little, just a little guy. Regular attack. Regular attack. Limit anger max. <sighs> Take him out right away. You got guts coming after me. I'll never forgive you. No time for that now. We got it going. Well, how, how to stop it? I know already, just shut up and sit tight. If we keep this up, we'll crash right into North Corral. Let's see, if we just use the levers alternately to accelerate. It should stop if we move the levers up or down simultaneously. Hey, it's not working! We're gaining speed. We have the other way. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! Just for a minute, with a minute to spare, I should say. And at one point, I never knew what it looked like if you didn't, because uh, I was so well versed in like how to make sure that you didn't crash. But uh, hey, everybody, you guys are really something. You sure are brave. I'm impressed. Uh, thanks, but uh. Wait, where do I go? Can I... Oh, this way. Aren't you the ones that stopped the Shinra train? The Shinra was just about to destroy our lives again. It might be full of junk, but this is the only home we got, Barrett. Of, of course. We're all born and raised in the coal mines. No matter how tough it gets, our hearts burn bright red like coal. To hell with Meteor. We're coal miners, ain't we? We'll dig a deep tunnel and hide from the Meteor. That's it. Hey kid, how about giving these to these giving something to these guys fighting the Shinra? I know it's a summon, but I don't remember what. I got it out of the well. Isn't it an amazing rock? Oh no, it's Ultima. Must have been a horrific battle. You still ha you have scars all over your body. I already talked to the inn's owner. Today you can rest for free. Okay, so we're all rested up. And I don't think... I don't remember there being anything else that we can get in this town. There's only one more huge material the Shinra needs. That's the one at the underwater reactor. We'll get there first. With us always in their face, even the Shinra's gotta be getting tired of it all. My voice for Sid and Barrett aren't the same, I know. I can't do... It's just a raspy, gravelly voice that I can't really gravel very much. We have to hurry that much. We have to hurry that much. Right now I'm more worried about him than anything else. Must be about Cloud. Yeah, and I'm worried about Tifa, too. Let's go see what's going on at Medil. Here we are back in Medil, and and I don't know if... Oh, you know what? I think there are a couple things I can do. What's this? You're being awful friendly. Oh, so that's it. You want the Mimet Greens, don't you? Give it some. Well, I guess there's no way around it. Here you go, shrimp. Eat up. 
Chocobo likes it. Enjoyed. Looks like it enjoyed the eating the greens. Hey, hey, he's kind of cute. I'll maybe just tickle him a little. Behind his ears. What kind of material was that? Didn't even say what material it was. Was that contain? Contain is a crazy powerful material. No good, someone must have locked it. I got a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Is everything gonna be okay? I'm alright, I've lived a long, full life. But I'm worried about my son and his family living in that far off town. I hope they're safe. Wait a minute, did you just take something? Uh, oh, um, yeah, I took it, old man. Hey, it's mine now, and I'll make good use of it, believe you me. Hey, hey, what an oddball. We'll let him use it. Hey, thanks, it'll help, Bops. I'll use an elixir right in the next battle that I come across. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you were never recover for the rest of your life? Yeah! Coming. They're coming. What did you say, Cloud? Uh, damn, what the hell's going on? Watch this. The live stream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's... This is bad. Sid, what's wrong? N nothing. You and Cloud get inside quick. But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Damn, that f fucking weapon. <laughs> of all the times to show up. Okay, then, come on, you bitch. I don't know, it's weird. It's like the bleeping, like the bleeping out on the characters with swear words is just interesting. It's funny to me. Okay. We're gonna do some trine. Maybe magic breath? Ooh, that hurt. Magic breath was pretty rough on us. Oh yeah, that was pretty solid. Boom. That took him right out. Okay, let's just cure both of us. Oh. Buy ultimate weapon. I think that was just meant to, like, scare us and say, Oh, that's pretty tough. Tough creature. He didn't do a shadow flare, I think was the one thing. It's um an enemy skill that I need. So you don't have to defeat him, you just have to survive it. You uh, asshole! You trying to escape? It's not that I don't want to swear, it's just that I don't... Which words should I use? I can't think of which swear words I want to use. And I can't just, like, come up off the cuff like, Damn, man, just a little bit more and I would have smashed him. No, there's no time to be smashing anything. It looks like the live stream has settled as well. Damn, you gotta be kidding. This is bad, the mainstream is kicking up. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. 
No good. Gotta get out of here. Or get out of here. But what about Tifa and Cloud? God damn it. Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't know when that stream will blow. Whoa. There's no time. Hurry. And they just run around in circles. Tifa, Cloud, get out of here. Oh god, the tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to move it to an open area. His wheels are spinning. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. Uh... This is cute with the character models. Like, there, there are so many, like, different styles that they put into one game. This is, it's interesting that they're, like, that they look like this when, you know, you look completely different in the beginning and when they escape from Midgar and when... When Aerith gets KO'd. That may also be a really cool um, sequence. In the, in the third game. It's definitely going to be in the third game. Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, oh, it's not me. I'd never do anything like that. I don't really know what... Like, what's going on here. No, stop it. Stay back. Like, she's got her own thing she's being tortured by. Somebody, help, please. Or it's just some kind of fever dream nightmare thing. Or she's seeing things from Cloud's perspective, almost. Cloud, help me. Yeah. Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it... Your subconsciousness? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? The gates of Nibelheim, five years ago. Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's right, it's probably best to start from there. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. Cloud! Look! Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. 
This is why, that's why this is our Nibelheim. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back into your, your hometown in a long time, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So this is the Great Sephiroth? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember foreboding about him. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anymore, anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come home, or come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Alright, let's go. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't... Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly. Little by little, okay? That starry night at the well, and our promises, what if the memory was all just a lie? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back. Slowly. Little by little. Right, like the sky that night, the heavens were filled with stars. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this sky? No, you remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake, if he could recall up that memory. That's it! What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something and I remember it, too, then we'll know that's a memory. 
talk to me about anything, some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who. Me? Why? Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's alright. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. Then... It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Come on, hurry. A sealed up secret. Wish. Tender memories. No one can ever know. Do you know where this window, go window goes, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look! Clouds coming. You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right, we live... We live next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've, on I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her, gr her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children then. I know, I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then, maybe... Just maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself Tifa would never come, that she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But... It's true we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later, he'll probably be so happy. Okay. Uh-huh. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Tifa's mother. The day mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mom 
mountain of Beloscari, many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. Step. I ran into her. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but. Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have noticed, have to notice me. So that was it. Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it, now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Cloud, wait! Where are you going? The reactor. To the reactor, the Mako reactor of five years ago. Hey, it's Cloud. Zach, 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 you remembered. That's right, it was Zach who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see it all? I saw everything.
Uh, who, who are you? Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. Cloud? That's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. Hmm, so it was you? Hey Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed. I didn't want to see anybody. Look how cartoony the expressions are. But they get the point across well. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry, I didn't get there sooner. It's all right, Cloud. Just like you. Cloud, kill Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Don't push it. It can't be. I don't know how they're going to do this in the third game, but they probably have some time to figure it out, but uh, you know, they're probably going to change it completely around. But they have to have that iconic scene where it's like three stabbings. Aerith getting stabbed, uh, Cloud stabbing Sephiroth, and Sephiroth stabbing Cloud. Cloud. Then this is goodbye, Tifa, until we meet again.
cloud. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Tifa. Oh, Cloud, is it really you? It's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. You stupid jerk, you had us all worried sick. Urgh. Cloud, are you alright? The voice there. I see, we're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa, let's go home. And we'll all float on again. You'll float too. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Uh, uh. Barrett, you came back. I, Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, when I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud, he found himself. All right, I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. So many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Diva, snap out of it. Diva? Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you have been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak. Then I heard the story from my friend Zack, and I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the charade, charade, charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they used when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, the, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people, like me, get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses are what created me. Everyone, that, everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illus illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means he ain't no different from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're gonna have to keep fight, keep fighting to save the planet. It's like you always tell me, Barrett. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train. Avalanche. So that part was uh, longer than I. Oh, oh, Cloud. Okay. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, and so I could really understand how you feel, Cloud. 
No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. There it is. Thought it was going to be a short chapter, but then I forgot that whole thing was going to be in this chapter. Listen, Cloud. We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge materia, right? I know this is kind of out of the blue, but Junin has an underwater reactor. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. So next time... Oh, I didn't know I could strafe. Um, <laughs> the next time, we're going to Junin. Let me just get there now. So I'll be going to the underwater reactor next time for to collect the huge materia. So thank you, everybody, for watching.